Hi everyone, I'm Hui and in this video we're going to play around with panels in the Dataminer Low-Code Apps toolset. Enjoy! Low-Code Apps lets you build applications tailored to specific audiences with little to no coding experience while leveraging your own data lake. They are integrated with powerful data miner automation capabilities and are accessible from anywhere. What's a panel? What is it for? It is easier if I just show you. This is the People and Organizations app. On the People page, there is a list of people and their respective information. When I click on the new contact button at the header bar, we get a panel. A panel that, in this case, allows us to create new contacts by filling in contact information. Notice how the panel opens up from the right, but it can open from the left or in a pop-up in the center. This is the SLA app. When I click on the Outages List button, it will open the panel in a pop-up. So, as you can see, panels are designed to contain secondary contents that can be shown on top of pages. This is an empty app I created. It contains nothing. This way we can focus on panels alone. Let's go into edit mode. This is the only page and is currently selected. You can see that under this page we can set its icon, configure its header bar, events and create panels. To add a new panel, expand it and click on the plus button. Give it a name. I will leave it as panel. You can now add components to this panel by expanding the component sidebar. For now I'll just add a simple label stating that this represents the panel's content. There, now a panel exists, but we are not using it at the moment. We have to use event actions to bring it up, for example, when you click a button. Let's do that. First, we need a button and we will create one and put it in the page's header bar. I will call it Open Panel. Now we add an event. On click, we open the panel we just created on the left with 30% width. And that's it. Let's go on over to draft mode. Click the button on the header and our panel will open from the left. Panels also have a dedicated header bar in which you can also include buttons. Let's quickly add a button there to close the panel. Just edit the panel once more and click on the plus button above on the header bar. Name the button, I'll call it close and add an on-click event that closes this panel. Now you know how to create panels, but this one is empty. You can add components to a panel the same way you would add them to a page. So let's replace it with something more useful. You remember the People and Organization app I showed you in the beginning. It had a panel containing a form to add new contact information. You will be glad to know you don't have to manually create that form from scratch, courtesy of data miner object models. You see, a contact is actually a DOM definition, therefore a form can be produced from it. And with low-code apps, you can simply drag and drop it into a form component. We are not completely done yet. We have to save the contact after all. So let's create a save button in the panel's header. Let's add an on-click event to it. When I click the Save button, I want the data in the form to be saved and the panel to be closed. Now, as the panel is closing, I also want to create a new instance of that contact object definition using the data we saved on the form. Let's go ahead and create a new contact to test the functionality of the panel. Let's 
Now, I am not displaying a list of people here on this app, but if we go back to the People and Organizations app and refresh the table, you will see we will be able to find the new contact we just created. Let's do another one very quickly, like replicating the pop-up panel containing SLA outages list like we've already seen on the SLA app. After going into edit mode, we will add a new panel and I will call it outages panel. Let's drag and drop a parameter table in there. Now we need to find the outages uh, parameter table of an SLA element. The Olympics of Air SLA is usually my go-to element for these cases, so let's go ahead and grab that one. Now we have the outages list displayed on our panel. Next step is to create a way to bring it up. Again, I will add a new button to the main page header bar and call it outages. And now add an event that on click will open the outages panel we just made. This time in a pop-up window. Let us test it. When I click on the outages button, the outages list will appear inside a pop-up panel in the center of the screen. What we just saw was the most basic things you can do with panels, but Given how well integrated panels are with other low-code apps, components and features, you can in fact create more interesting and complex panels limited only by the extent of your imagination. I hope this video helps you getting started. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.